soldier here. I think they draw to the plastique. Wait. Ollie's dark, eh? Look, I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plagueies. It's Baden Powell. We were in the Punjab together. Did you know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you going to help me out? Are you going to help me out here, Starkey? Our own wee panic burn. This'll blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. Oh, now I remember Baden Powell. Real kiss ass he was. Mill my side bone on Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day? Studying Latin? What's the bloody use of that? Go forth and sin nay more. I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. Now, oh, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now, we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence. How the hell does all this work? I'll give it a whirl. So that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. to be at work. I quit. A soldier's allowed to quit. I well, guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think he'll want me back at any rate. Not after the things I told him. The general? This is all his fault. The registry, the train, the way we bent over backwards. Wait. How can I be talking to you? You're dead. I quit because you're dead. My memory's all confused. I just sloshes around in my head. Does that make it easier to bear? Good. Now we can come back here without all those disagreements.
Ah, fond memories. Careful. I don't think they like you very much here. Who's on guard duty? There's a mur- Attention all personnel, tonight's movies will be Hellcats at Ramsgate. This stirring war movie shows one of Britain's finest victories. Don't miss it. Donald! Ollie? What possessed you to come here? Here. I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. The tanks were fake! The German tanks in the camp, paper mashy! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train, tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, Ollie. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, 
You can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> they'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. Huh? Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better, doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Donald, ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, eh? Hop in. Do you remember my meat pounder? That I lent you two years ago? And you lost it, smashing some televisions? That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face, damn collaborator. Traitor! No. You bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's say, two bob. Five! Quiet! You want them to hear you. Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Open up! I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these starky in that cart, are ya? I don't think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along, if you don't mind. Highway robbery! I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap. All off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm going to have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boy's dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I never do that to you. I do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the general will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her.
I walk through the valley in the shadow of death. good at this. Remember, we're always safe in the dark. Fuel of the future! It makes you so strong! <laughs> You'll have to come down sooner or later. No, I won't. I'm going to fly away! <laughs> Motoline gives you wings! I hope he's got a parachute. I think flying is overrated. If everybody could fly, people would dream about swimming. You're not going to fly. You're gonna come down like a sensible person, we're gonna rob you, and then you'll go on your way. We might even pump your stomach, because we're proper decent Christian folk. The ocean has everything. Fish and octopi and such. There's nothing in the air, except clouds. And they're cold and damp. Oh, 
Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Come on, you daft bastard. If you think you can fly, just take a run at the edge and fly off. <laughs> Ollie! They just don't get my sense of humour. I don't like bees. Well, no one likes getting stung. It's not that. It's the part where a hive is more intelligent than half the people you meet. That's alarming. <laughs> 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 What kind of religion is this? The old kind. The kind we needed to get Christ to be rid of. Don't make a habit of that, right?
God for Harry and St. George. Still, you bastard. I'm afraid you've come to the end. Isn't that what Foggy Jack says? Do you think someone's getting... Or it's Foggy Jack's suitcase, and he writes his death note. <laughs>
What you love, they tell you. But what if what you love is throwing rocks? Cannot hold. Oh, uh, I'll come. But you may not like it, you fanny. Do you still hate him? Should I not? He killed Cull Big Tapper. You can't kill a Gurker by Mishanta. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Am I to just beat the tar out of him then? Or am I supposed to bring him a bob and none such as? It was 20 years ago, and he was angry. Well, for that, he deserves mercy. Have you never done something in anger that you regretted later? This man is unvexed with regret. How can you forgive someone who never even asks for forgiveness? Margaret! Margaret! That's no way to win an argument, lass. Watch out! There's a killer out! <laughs> can you punish a man for a sin he no longer even remembers? <laughs> Side effects. Oh, that's a bad thing.
not the town I remember. It's all scrambled up in my memory. Some of the buildings, I can't see at all until I'm close to them. Then they pop into view with everything I ever saw happening in them. And I turn my back, and they're gone again. I think there's someone here, Ollie. Who? Where? The doors of your perception have to be cleansed. Listen. Listen. Oh, listen. Margaret? Her ghost. She's the real Margaret. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Why are you here? She can't hear you. Margaret, why are you here on Wednesday's Hill? I died upon this hill. I was betrayed in another place. It is here I was killed, and my body hidden in the ground. This is where the Germans shot you. But why are you still here? Innocents have been sacrificed in this place for the time out of mind. To wish something here is to shape the nature of things. I wished for revenge. Now I am held here until the man begs forgiveness of me, who betrayed me to my death, or until he is judged. Oh, I'll make him ask for forgiveness, all right. Of his own free will must he ask. But without memory, forgiveness cannot be asked. And without asking, there cannot be forgiveness. So I am doomed to walk this hill until then. Remember me. A Jew. A Jew. A Jew. I'll make him remember then. Whenever I next see him, I'll make him remember, all right.